Mabel, Mabel. Oh, Mabel. Oh, I, uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Stuck, and that'll bust it down. Oh, hang on, then. Oh. How is it? Me, London. <laughs> Council and Monks. Feeling a little fragile, are we, then? I feel fine. What time is it? It's half past seven, London. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> half past seven? Oh, God, I've missed Crossroads. Benny Hawkins is back. It's half past seven in the morning, actually, London. God, we... What are you waking me up at this hour in the morning for? Well, my reasons are twofold, actually. Firstly, I thought that being as you and your loutish friends kept not only me, but the rest of the terrace up half the night with your noise and din, I thought I'd return the compliment! <laughs> you were right painting the muffins, you aren't you? Look, look, the only reason I kept half the street up was because half of them was in here, all of them boozing. The only one who didn't turn up was Mori and his missus and you. Yeah, well, that's besides the point, London. This is not the first time you've held a wild orgy of a party. Oh, it weren't a wild orgy of a party, just a few friends and neighbours round having a jar. Or three. Sounded like a bunch of orangutans having a fit. <laughs> there you are, then. Everyone knows the best orgies are silent ones. <laughs> silent? How can an orgy be silent? Easy, mate. Just stick your fingers in your ears and lay back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd know all about that sort of thing, wouldn't you? Oh, only leave off money on a wine. But look, look. It was just a good old-fashioned party like Mother used to make. Yeah. Well, when I was walking past this house at midnight last night, I just happened to glance in through the window. Was that you? Yes, it was. And one of your disgusting friends bared his bottom at me. <laughs> no, that's not exactly true. Oh, yes, it was. I saw it with my own eyes. It was a bare bottom. A great big bare bottom. And I know a bare bottom when I see one. <laughs> you sure it weren't your reflection in the window? <laughs> no. It was disgusting. And I'll have you know, I'm going to report the matter to the local council and the local residents' association. And I saw a female prancing around on your table in her suspenders. It wasn't a female, that was Wanda Pickles doing the can-can. <laughs> well, look, look, Arnie, the only reason someone give you a moony out the window is because that's what they thought you was doing to them. <laughs> I distinctly remember the person who done it, who I'm about to tell you had more than a few drinks, say, here, look, everyone, out the window. There's a bum with glasses on it. <laughs> I don't find your smutty little jokes funny, London. When Miss Hockwistle and my fellow councillors find out what went on in this, 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 this hovel last night, you will find yourself in a right mess. You, my grotty little neighbour, have put your foot right in it. Keep your eyes shut, Jim, you'll bleed to death. <laughs> oh, headache, sandwiches, grub, blood transfusion, cut of tea. Oh, Jim. You know, Jim, life is all about time. It's about being in the right place at the right time. It's about seeing your opportunities and taking them. <laughs> you can't say that I've not been a patient woman, Jim, but even I have got my limits. Oh, Jim! <laughs> oh, my God, Jim. <laughs> Jim? <laughs> Wanda, I've heard of having a leg over, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, it's right in the life, Ashley. It's disgusting. What is it? What do you 
you mean? It's a leg. What's it look like? What's it doing in your piece? Oh, I don't know. It got in there. It belongs to old Fred Burroughs, mate of my dad's. He lost his leg in the war. Oh, they had a right good skimp all last night, them two. Didn't we all? I still don't understand how that thing got left behind. Well, if I remember rightly, darling, it was partly down to you. Me? I don't know what you mean, Jim. You helped Fred whip it off. God, the things you do after you've had a few drinks. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was pretty good of you myself. I ain't seen old Fred so happy in ages. Oh. <laughs> I must have been well gone on the gin and tea. Yeah. They had both had a good skimple. Oh, old Fred, he was legless. <laughs> legless. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Jim, but, I mean, what time did he leave, then? I don't know. Must have been about three o'clock when they left. <laughs> Why'd you ask? Well, I was just wondering how he'd managed to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't think like <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I mean, where does he live? Just off Ballamar Street. <laughs> Ballamar Street? That's miles away. It's a fair old hop from here. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't. No, poor man. He probably took a shortcut home through the houses. Oh, yeah. Maybe your dad took him up. Mind you, that's even more worrying, the state he was in. Oh, yeah, they were both well oiled. Oh, yeah, if I remember right, it was him who started the Drink the Yards of Ale competition. Who won that, by the way? You wouldn't credit it, you know. Miss Upwhistle. Oh, it weren't! Uh, oh, well, you should have said she can half shove them away when she wants, you know. <laughs> right, little raver, that one. She must be. Yeah. I mean, I tried it a few times, but that yard glass of yours kept slipping out my hands. It's funny. <laughs> Story that... of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's funny that I ain't got a yard of old glass. Oh, you must have, Jim. I mean, we was all drinking out of it. No, I'm telling you that... Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> I have not got a yard of old glass. Well, someone had got one. I mean, it was Ooh. long and hollow, wide at the top and... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, no. <laughs> How many feet are there in a yard? Tastes like the inside of an Arab's boot. <laughs> My head feels like I've got it on loan from Madame Tussauds. Oh, they must have an headless hunchback of Notre Dame down here. <laughs> Never again, Jim. Promise me, mate. Never again. Oh, just me for getting on so well. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you what, Roy? Never have another party on a Sunday night. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. So I didn't plan it that way, did I? I mean, just like all good parties, it just happened. You drinking, or you hit the gloat at one of your victims? No, no boost for me, mate. Going to a job interview this afternoon, and I. So that's what the party was all about. <laughs> What's in that sack? Oh, just a leg. That's what's uh, <laughs> brought me down here this morning. Have you seen anything of my old man? Well, I ain't seen him since last night. Blimey, that old beer we was knocking back last night. What not a powerful drop of gear, wasn't it? Yeah, it was only just normal booze, Brian. Mind you, you did come second in the yard of ale drinking contest. Yeah? I shall have to get a few of them glasses in. It'll do trade the world a bit. <laughs> yeah, you'll run away with trade there, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, getting back to your old man. There's not something about your old man, is there? Like, something you ain't told us about? What you going on about, bro? Well, you know, something... Are you still Brahms? No, no, straight up. Look, a geezer I used to go to school with, well, like, he'd never take his vest off when we had PE or <laughs> swimming, know what I mean? No. What are you on about? Well, he had three of them, didn't he? <laughs> three... What's it's like? Free. Free what? You know, free 
Pop, pop. <laughs> did he have a sister? <laughs> yeah, he did, as it happens. <laughs> Why? Just trying to work out the odds, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get you drift. Puts whole new meaning to the word quadraphonic, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> 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 Anyway, what's your old mate with three frockney bits got to do with my old man? Well, as I was leaving your gaff about three o'clock this morning, your old man was going off up the road just in front of me. No, I'll never see the going of him. No, well, he was all hunched over, he was. He weren't the only one. Did you see Miss Ockwhistle leaving on all fours? Oh, she looked like a walrus with a face at both ends. <laughs> yes, but your old man... <coughs> Look, I know I'd had a few light ales, mate, but what I saw made the air on the back of my neck all tingle. I swear to you, this is the truth, Jim. As your old man passed under the streetlight at the end of your terrace, I got a good look at him. Get away. Honest. Dib, dib, dob. <laughs> May I never pull another pint or bird? Well, go on, go on. Your old man had three legs. <laughs> afternoon. Good afternoon. The delivery room's downstairs, first on the right. Oh, now I've come to the job interview. Mr. Baker, I've asked to. Take a seat, please. Mr. Baker will be with you shortly. Mr. London. What's your cup? All right? Yeah, not so bad. Terrific. <sighs> like being in the doctors, innit? Yeah. You're on the tube? Yeah, that's the same. Funny, innit? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what, you here for the job, then? Yeah, you? Yeah, bleeding came in half. Been waiting here nearly an hour already. Hmm? It's a bit strong, isn't it? Yeah, well, they always keep me hanging about. You've been here before, then? Oh, stone me dozens of times. <laughs> What's in a the sack, then? Ah, oh, just a leg. <laughs> How come you've been here so often, then? It's all part of the game, isn't it? A leg? <laughs> yeah. What game's this, then? Oh, well, I'll go and ramp on down the labour every fortnight, see? That ain't enough for him, is it, know what I mean? Ain't it? Nah, of course it ain't. Silly bleeders keep sending me out after jobs, don't they? Mm. Well, I have to front up for him, else they put the block on me gyro. Mm. Don't you want a job, then? Yeah, of course I do. I ain't gonna take just any old job, am I? You know, I'm a tradesman, highly skilled person. <laughs> Lamb? <laughs> Beef? Hey? In a sack, the leg. Nah, nah. Oh, so, uh, what's your trade then? Do what? You said you were a skilled man. What are you skilled at? Oh, yeah. I'm a flagpole painter. <laughs> <laughs> a flagpole painter? Yeah. Nah, it's too big for a chicken. <laughs> a what? In there, the leg. Yeah. You're on a wind-up, ain't ya? No, I ain't. <laughs> Finally got the sack at my last job, you know. I could have been a skilled person. Yeah, is that right? All right, I'll give in. It ain't lamb and it ain't beef. I had a terrific job I did. Worked at the London Hospital in PATH. <laughs> PATH? Yeah, pathology, you know, cutting up all them bits. Oh, and what? Bits. Like, that, like that Quincy geezer on the telly? That's him, yeah. But I was just like the labourer, you know. I used to hand the governor all the tools and he used to saw up all the bits and pieces. <laughs> Give them to me, I used to stick them in a sack. <laughs> oh, I loved that job, I did, please. Mr London. Yes, Governor. This way, please. Keep your eye on that, Bruce. <laughs> Have a seat, Mr. London. Thank you. Sorry to have kept you waiting. 
And the place is like a madhouse today. Oh, good to know the old firm's busy, eh, Governor? Yes, and to make matters worse, one of my foremen chooses this day of all days to take a day off. I'm sick? Well, not really. The silly man went and got drunk at some madcap party oh. last night. <laughs> he has an artificial leg, you see. <laughs> Apparently a bunch of drunken louts ripped it off him. Who do a thing like that, then? Sickening. It's damned sickening. They left the poor man to get home on one leg. <laughs> I'd like to get my hands on the drunken louts. I'd give them what for. <laughs> oh, God, what on earth's going on? <laughs> it's a leg. <laughs> a human leg. What on earth are they shouting about? It's a leg. Boy, he's a natter. <laughs> he's a lunatic. I don't understand. What's the problem? You see him, he's got a leg in there. <laughs> a leg? What the devil's he raving on about? Uh, 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 it's just an harmless joke, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um, I'll leg it then, eh? <laughs> Stairs, don't worry. I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked their pulses? They haven't said a dicky bird since I've come in here. Yeah, well, sign language is the only thing that gets through at the moment. Mm -hmm. I know how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> You got three, ain't you? <laughs> Come on, Ern, you can tell me. I won't let on. You have, ain't you? You've got three. What are you doing, Brian? Shh. <laughs> Charming. Hello, Jim. How'd you get on? Rotten, mate. Didn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> See your dad. He's got one spare. Want a pint? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Line. What's out there? Oh. Is there anybody in there? <laughs> you can do that down my ear if you like, Jim. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, son. God. <laughs> you all right, Miss Ockwistle? All right, Dad. Uh, uh, terrific, yeah, terrific, yeah. You and Fred got home all right last night, then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't easy. <laughs> it started off all right. That's what the captain of the Titanic said. <laughs> uh, uh, kept slipping all Fred's back. <laughs> what do you mean, you kept slipping all Fred's back? Well, he had to give me a piggyback, didn't he? Because I was reckless, didn't I? Uh, it all went wrong when uh, Fred's shoelace came undone. You're joking, a man only had one leg. Yeah, don't I know it? <laughs> Fair to my tummy over all that hopping, I can tell you. <laughs> Lots on a ride, Skippy. What about the shoelace? Uh, oh, well, Fred stopped uh, in this doorway to have a bit of a blow, see? And I slipped down onto my hands and knees and done it up. The only problem was I got the end of me tie caught in the nuts. Don't tell me. Yeah, well, I didn't realise, did I? Not with me in my condition. And by that time, I was feeling a bit travel sick and all. Anyway, here we was, me trying to get back onto Fred's back, Fred leaning against the door, trying to weave me up, and then the silly cow in the house went and opened the blooming door. Didn't it? <laughs> well, where's Fred now, then? Hey? Oh, he's in the hospital. In the hospital? Yeah, well, we nearly made it home OK, see? Then next door's dog jumped over the fence and started having a go at us. Don't tell me the poor man got bitten on his one good leg. No, no, no. It all went very badly for us when Fred took it into his head to kick the mutt up the kyber. <laughs> Is he hurt bad or what? Hey, no, he ducked just as Fred Boot was going to oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about Fred. Oh, yeah, he's all right, yeah. I've got to take his leg up later. Oh. oh. Well, here it is. 
Don't lose it. Oh! <laughs> but we are done with you last night. Oh, come and fill it up. A full yard, if you please. Get out. <laughs> oh, there you are, Miss Hot Whistle. Just the person I wanted to speak to. You're for it now, London. Uh, uh, Arnie, old cocker. I'd listen for a minute, if I were you. No, 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 no. You're trying to beg for mercy, London. I've got you this time. I've had words with all my fellow councillors. All we need now is the name of the disgusting friend of yours that bared his bottom at me. And you're for it. Well, I can't tell you. No, it's the code. I can't let on who it was. Nor me. Well, don't look at me, councillor. I was seeing free of everything last night. <laughs> As fellow heads of the Residents' Association, Miss Hockwistle and I demand to know the name. <laughs> <laughs> we will not stand for all this drunken debauchery. <laughs> Miss Hockwistle, are, are you all right? Wonderful, darling. Oh my Just God. wonderful. Oh, of course. Someone lend a hand here. This is obviously a very sick woman. Um... <laughs> oh, don't just sit there, man. Help me. Do you recognise that, Councillor? <laughs> Don't be so blinking rude. He ain't being blinking rude, Councillor. He's trying to point you in the right direction in your search for the person who showed off their bottom at you. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare do a thing like that. This woman has a seat on the local council. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't, would she? <laughs> oh, my God, how could you? For me, of all people. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, Councillor, cos we won't say nothing if you won't. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bum's the word, eh, Councillor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, straight up, I mean it. But I'm telling you, though, the geezer was a nutter. He had a human leg in a sack. Oh, it was horrible, it was. Right then, uh, who's for another yard of ale? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get out of here. It's that nut of geezer! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.